What is the difference between simple interest and compound interest on 1200 rupees for one year at 10% per annum reckoned half yearly? Well, let us first calculate the simple interest. It is equal to PNR upon 100. The principal is 1200 rupees times N is one year times R is 10% upon 100. So that's equal to 120 rupees the simple interest. Now the comp the interest is compounded half yearly. So we can calculate the amount that's equals to principal into 1 plus the rate will be halved raised to the time will be doubled so 2n. So this is basically equals to principal is 1200 into 1 plus rate is 10 percent per annum that will be halved so 5 by 100 raised to the number of years is 1 now because it is reckoned half yearly so this is big so this will be 2 right so 5 times 20 is 100 so I have 1200 times 21 by 20 whole square so 21 times 21 divided by 20 times 20 these uh oh these two zeros and these two zeros get cancelled out. 2 times 6 is 12 and again 2 times 3 is 6. So this is 3 times 21 square is 441 and that's equal to 1323 and that's the amount. So, so compound interest is equal to amount minus principal and that's 1323 minus 1200 and that's equal to 123. So the difference is 120 or 123, 123 minus 120, right? So the difference is 3. So option B is the correct answer. The investment that amounts to rupees 4913 in 3 years at 6, 1 by 4 percent per annum compounded interest compound interest compounded annually is well this is a pretty straightforward question you know the formula amount is equals to p into 1 plus r upon 100 raised to n amount is given to you that's 4913 is equals to principal amount or the investment is what you want to find into 1 plus what is the rate rate is 6 1 by 4 that's 6 for the 24 plus 1 that's 25 that's 25 by 4 so you have 25 by 4 times 100 raised to n is 3 right so 4913 is equals to p into 25 times 4 is 100 so you have 1 plus 1 by 16 is to 3. So again 4913 is equals to P into 17 by 16 cube. So therefore P is equals to 4913 times 16 times 16 times 16 divided by 17 times 17 times 17. Now 17 cube is 4913. So this gets cancelled out. So P is equals to 16 cube. And that's 4096. So option D is the correct answer. The simple interest on a certain sum of money for three years at 8% per annum is half the compound interest on 4000 rupees for two years at 10% per annum. What is the sum placed on simple interest? Well, it is said that the simple interest is half the compound interest. So I have SI is equals to CI by 2. Now the formula for simple interest is PNR upon 100 and the principle is what we have to find. What is the sum placed on simple interest? Right. So let it be P times N is 3 years. So 3 times 8% per annum. So 8 upon 100 is equals to 1 by 2 times the compound interest. Now what is compound interest? Compound interest is the amount 
minus the principal right now let be let let us write it amount minus principal okay so this is 1 by 2 into amount is basically p into 1 plus r upon 100 right so p is 4000 into 1 plus r is 10 percent per annum so 10 upon 100 raised to n n is 2 years so 2 years minus 4000 that's this p okay so you have half of 4000 times 11 square by 10 square that's 121 by 100 so these two zeros get cancelled out minus 4000 okay so this is also equals to 1 by 2 times 40 times 121 is equal to 4840 minus 4000 this is a bracket right so half of 840 and that's 420 so p so we have p into 3 into 8 upon 100 is equals to 420 therefore p is equals to 420 times 100 divided by 3 8 is 24 right 3 times 8 so 420 divided by 2 is 210 8 by 2 is 4 and 4 times 25 is 100 and 3 times 7 is 21 so 3 times 70 is 210 so this is equal to 70 times 25 and that is equal to 1750 so this is the answer option C The difference between simple and compound interest compounded annually on a certain sum of money for two years at 4% per annum is rupees 1. What is the sum in rupees? Well, first of all, let us consider this sum as x. This is basically the principal. Now, we will calculate the simple interest first. So, simple interest is equal to PNR upon 100, that's x into number of years are 2 that's 2 into the rate is 4 by 100 right so that is equals to 4 times let it be as it is that is uh, 8 by 100 X that is the simple interest now let us calculate the compound interest so first we'll calculate the amount so amount is equals to P into 1 plus R upon 100 raised to N P is that is the principle is x so x into 1 plus rate is 4 so 4 upon 100 raised to 2 right so this is x into 4 by you know 4 by 100 can be written as 1 by 25 so 25 into 1 plus 1 that's 26 by 25 square so this is equals to 676 by 625 x that's the amount now we will calculate the compound interest compound interest is equal to amount minus the principal so 676 x by 625 minus x so this is equal to 676 x minus 625 x by 625 and that is equal to 51 by 625 x so this is the compound interest we have two equations now we have been given that the difference between the simple interest and the compound interest is actually 1 so I can write 8 by 100 x minus 51 by 625 x is equals to 1 right so taking the denominator as 2500 that's the LCM of 625 and 100 we have 100 times 25 so 8 times 25 X minus 625 
times 4 is 2500 so 51 times 4x equals to 1 so let's solve it here so 200x minus 204x is equals to 2500 okay so you have minus 4x is equals to 2500 and that's x is equals to 2500 by 4 and that is equal to minus 625 okay ignore the minus you got the answer the sum is 625 rupees option a now if you are wondering why there is a minus here it is because we took the difference wrongly we should have taken the difference opposite 51x by 625 minus 8x by 100 never mind even if you do this your approach is correct 